the world has an obligation to make sure that we maintain the norm against the use of chemical weapons. Now, I have not made a final decision uh, about uh, various actions that might be taken to help enforce that norm. Uh, but uh, as I've already said, uh, I have had my military uh, and our team look at a wide range of options. Uh, we have consulted with uh, allies, we've consulted with Congress, uh, we've uh, been in conversations uh, with all the interested parties, and in no event are we considering uh, any kind of military action that would involve boots on the ground, uh, that would involve a long-term campaign, uh, but we are looking at the possibility of a limited, uh, narrow uh, act that would help make sure that uh, not only Syria but others around the world uh, understand that uh, the international community cares about maintaining this chemical weapons uh, ban and norm. Uh, but again, I repeat, uh, we're not considering any open-ended uh, commitment. We're not considering any boots on the ground approach. Uh, what we will do is consider uh, options that uh, meet the narrow concern around chemical weapons, uh, understanding that there's not going to be uh, a solely military solution to the underlying conflict and tragedy uh, that's taking place in Syria.